Hello there Pisces, how's it going you guys? My name is Kelly and it's time for your reading. And this looks like a pretty intense reading here, so let's get right into it. Um, the first uh, rune that we got here is Nathis. <clears throat> and Nathis is a rune of feeling w uh, without. Um, it's also a, a rune of education, of learning something, but to be honest with you, I think this is more of a feeling of without for something. Um, it, it could be money. It, it most likely is something that you want to start. And you just don't, for some reason, you know, when I'm looking at the tarot cards here, <clears throat> you know, I'm kind of thinking that, because see, you have Hagelez here too, and Hagelez is chaos and disaster, and you got it twice. So, you know, I'm seeing judgment, and I'm seeing some, you know, the feeling that I'm getting, and I, you know, the feeling that I get off of this is like somebody rehashing something of the past, and it, it turns out to be an argument. Um, so I see a, an argument, uh, possibly for some of you Pisces, and it's it's not a you're not going to win. It's like they're not going to win either. It's it's a no win. It's a no win situation. So um, it's best to just you know not not do that. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Sometimes I'll just snap, you know, and I usually don't. I'm pretty really mellow, but it depends. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you see, now, Nathis here is connected to Baraka, and Baraka is is a very positive rune. It's, it's positive even in reverse, but I see something blocking it, and I feel that you guys are being blocked. Um, I feel that you, this is a tricky situation and you feel endangered, um, but, you know, you do. You, you've, got your, you've got your eyeballs out, but I, I'm kind of feeling that everything is going to be just fine, Pisces. This is in reverse. This thrashes us. This is in reverse, so... Um, and you can't always control what other people do. And so, and that's what Hagelez is saying here as well. Um, and it's also a major, we see, we have the Hierophant here. And this is a very, very spiritual card. And I see a lot of spirituality and transformation. Hagelez means transformation as well. Um, and it can also mean misfortune. Um, so, you know, to me, an argument is misfortune. I don't like arguments. So if you can avoid an argument, that would be great. And I see that you have, you know, big plans that you want to do, Pisces, but you're just not actually doing it. And you've got some sort of block going. It, You've got all all kinds of options over here, Pisces. See, you got the Seven of Cups here. You know, and this is saying to to make your decision and and make your choice. <laughs> and you know, go with the new Pisces. Go with the new. Go with this great idea you've got, and stop for stop procrastinating. Do it. I know that, see, now I know that you've got some blocks going on, but a lot of this blockage that's going on, I feel is more internal within yourself, okay? Even if somebody's going to come out here and start to rehash up some, some uh, you know, something from the past, uh, or if anything comes up from the past. See, this is the judgment, and they're coming out of their coffin, so 
And I see, I see an argument here. It's like a no-win situation, and neither side can win. And I see the emperor here. You could be dealing with an Aries. So you could be dealing with a Taurus as well, or I see the Hierophant too. Um, but I feel that this is really mainly, you know, transformative energy and it's shocking <laughs> okay I don't think it's I don't think it's really bad honestly it, it looks bad but with you with this right here in reverse it's not as bad as you're making it look I don't think so if you can just possibly stay out of any arguments and I know it's hard um, yeah and you know it's kind of weird. I have a, I have a son, and he's he's an Aries. And man, when we when we argue, it's like there's no winning. <laughs> so I don't know. I hope I hope that doesn't do something for me. But but uh, yeah, we're gonna post some oracle cards out here and <clears throat> and see what else. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Let's pull some of these. Pull a couple of these. Put out with Pisces. Yeah, I see really major transformation. Shocking transformation. I think that even some of you are starting to even look different. Well, you are different. I mean, we've gone through like a rebirth. We're not the same as we were. What's going on with Pisces? Trust the universe. Yeah, just trust the universe, Pisces. I'm going to read what that says, but basically that's what it means. And, you know, and honestly, I'm just picking up, you know, go with the flow. I'm surprised I didn't pull out La Goose, but um, just go with the flow on this one. Um, there's no apparent danger, although you may feel that there is. Because whatever whatever is shocking is going to be, you know, kind of shocking, kind of shocking. Let's, <clears throat> let's see what, uh, trust the universe says. Sorry about that. It takes me forever to get these. <laughs> Okay, well, we got Trent. Now they want it. There we go. Trust the universe. <clears throat> Although your faith may be challenged right now, trust the universe. There is a reason for some of the experiences you've been going through recently, and there are no coincidences, coincidences in life, and everything is unfolding perfectly according to the divine plan. So, Everything is going to work out, Pisces, all right? Okay? I mean, this looks like a pretty rough read, but to be honest with you, I, I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling it's more of a spiritual, a very, very spiritual and transformative type of a energy. Uh, let me see. Positive opportunities are coming your way. Trust in the process and the path that you are being led down. You will know the right path when you experience synchronicities and other signs. So, like if you're seeing, <clears throat> like, you know, 111 or 333 or 444, if you're seeing those, you're on the right path, Pisces. You know, I've been seeing 111 a lot. I have. Sometimes I see the other ones, but as of late, it's been like one, one, one for me. 
Let's get you one more here, Pisces. Guardian Angel. So the Guardian Angel is talking about your Guardian Angel and your Guardian Angel is there to support you and be with you. And all you have to do is just ask for guidance from your Guardian Angel and know that they're there with you. And that's what that card means. We've pulled that one enough to where I know. So it looks pretty good, you know. Um, just, you know, try not to argue with anybody. You don't need to. It's it's not going to it's not going to lead anywhere so it's like you're not going to win the argument and they're not going to win the argument and it's just going to be a big old waste of time and a big mess and you don't need that so walk away let's let's get you one of these cards and see what it says the sacrifice ooh 44. Anybody out there seeing 44? 444? Let's see what that says. <clears throat> there we go. Sacrifice. The sacrifice asks that you offer to spirit that which is most and most precious to you. Your offering will be sanctified and returned tenfold. You will be elevated to the altar at which you will have uh, at which you have been praying and meet the divine at the table with the heavenly feast. You are a welcome guest at, in this banquet. Your heart is the o only, <clears throat> your heart is the only worthy offering you can bring. Life has been generous with you in so many ways. Wow. So yeah. I kind of take that by like giving your heart, you know, you know what I mean? Like when they did sacrifices, like in the Inca times, they would cut, pull your heart out, you know, but I mean, you can give your heart without having to pull it out. You know what I mean? You can give your heart to someone. So that's what that's saying. All right, now I'm going to pull a couple of moon cards and moonology cards, and then I guess I'll let you guys go. So, you know, like I say, um, this is a go with the flow. Just go with the flow. What's going on here with Pisces? Don't let your past hold you back. South node. See the judgment card? And those people coming out of the... Don't let your past hold you back. Have faith in your dreams, Pisces. Have faith in your dreams. At the bottom of the deck, it says your commitment is being tested. All right, Pisces? All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Pisces.